Hello, I'm Josh Marshall. This is the Lucky Taco Tex-Mex food truck and welcome to Glimpsed. I'm the self-proclaimed taco king of Hartford, actually. And what kind of stuff do you serve there? Uh, we serve a mixture of Tex-Mex and tacos from around the world. Um, my idea on tacos from around the world is coloring a little bit outside of the lines. We do like Kung Pao chicken tacos, uh, Thai chicken tacos, island jerk pork tacos, uh, chorizo con papas, and all kinds of other stuff like that. What is Tex-Mex? Um, Tex-Mex is a fusion of Texas cuisine and Mexican cuisine. Um, I grew up in West Texas, about three hours from the border of Mexico, and the, the food we we eat is kind of a it's a it's a it's an Americanized version of Mexican food, basically. So it's kind of a, a lighter fare or milder fare of, of Mexican food, fresh fresh ingredients like that, um, prepared daily, so they are really fresh once they hit the table. Food trucks like this aren't very big in Britain or Europe. How long have you run the food truck here for and, and, and what is it about food trucks that make them very popular? Well, um, in, in my case, um, uh, we've been here, we're in our into our third year now in, in Hartford. Um, it was a, it's a stepping stone basically for me. Um, I can't afford to open a restaurant. I could afford to build a food truck and start that way, get my food out there so people can taste it, learn to love me, which they do, and uh, you know, go from there. Uh, we should have another restaurant open within the year. A heap of habit. nice balance between the sour cream and the homemade guac, the poor carnitas, slow simmered, black beans are just singing. Is it the best taco place in all of Connecticut? I would say so. Now is it better than Taco Bell? <laughs> yes, it's better than Taco Bell. Uh, one of our pork carnitas tacos, slow smoked pork. Uh, I prefer the corn tortilla because just the flavor that it has is really nice earthiness, complements the pork. So we just toast the tortilla quickly. Get a little bit of color on there. It's just the... Finish our uh, pork carnitas with a little poblano coleslaw. Kind of a spin on the uh, barbecue sandwich, the pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw. So this is a taco essentially. This is, yep. It does look very nice. Yeah. Small and perfectly formed. Yeah, we say uh, one's a snack, two's a meal for these. But then you also serve a whole range of tacos. You also serve burritos. We do. We have burritos, which are colossal, so that's a meal. Uh, we have sides of black beans and chips, chips and guacamole, chips and salsa. I was in a corporate kitchen doing large batch cooking, really impersonal, no personality, uh, stuff like that. You know, making gallons and gallons of soup with powders, stuff like that. So I found Dave, 
and uh, we hit it off and decided to try and make something new for Hartford, something flavorful, something spicy, and bring our personality to it. So the unboxing of the burrito, I feel like I'm sort of doing one of those bailing videos for the Xbox 360 on, uh, on, on YouTube when they get a new you know, piece of equipment, they unbox it, it gets 50,000 views more than I'll ever get on this channel, and it's just someone taking apart a box. So I'm unbailing the burrito, and I'm absolutely starving. So this silver package of joy, like a very small robot. The first smells, are joy, happiness, hope, and wonder. If they, of course, were flavours. What looks like blood is this hot sauce that I've asked for specifically because I'm just a, an amazing guy who can handle hot, hot sauces and hot ladies. So it's big. It's big. It's very big. Tex-Mex. Real food, this isn't something you'd get at Taco Bell. This isn't a load of crap, this is real Tex-Mex food. This parcel of joy, here we go. Mm. Immediately, I'm hit by the sensation that everything in the world is okay, all shall be well, all manner of things are well, and this burrito is very well. It doesn't taste overpowering, taste horrendously batty. It's not as if I'm hit by sugar and grease. Each individual component feels like it's in its right place. The guacamole is exceptional. The little kidney beans are like little jewels poking out. It's very, very nice. Now sod off because I'm going to eat the rest of this. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Barriga Zena, Corazon Contento. I got a full belly and a happy heart.